हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल इट्स ग्रेट टाइम टू हैव यू हियर इन दिस इसको मेंटिकेशन कोर्स वी विल कवर एट एसेंशियल पॉइंट्स टू हेल्प यू अंडरस्टैंड एंड इम्प्लीमेंट इसकोम इफेक्टिवली इन दिस कोर्स वी विल कवर द फॉलोइंग टॉपिक्स वॉट इज ए आई सी सी एंड इसकोम इसकोम वर्जन एंड देयर यूनिक फीचर्स अंडरस्टैंडिंग हाउ टू क्रिएट एंड स्ट्रक्चर इसकोम पैकेज एक्सप्लोरिंग द कम्पेटिबिलिटी ऑफ इसकोम विथ वेरियस लर्निंग मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम एंड इंट्रोडक्शन टू द इसकोम ए पी आई एंड इट्स रोल इन ट्रैकिंग लर्नर इंट्रैक्शंस इम्प्लीमेंट इसकोम कोर्स in lms using node js methods for tracking user progress and performance in scom and in the last deployment scom course in the lms by the end of this video you will have a clear understanding of each of these points aicc stands for aviation industry computer based training committee it is standard used for online training that helps different learning systems work together it was created to make sure that training content could be shared and tracked easily especially in the aviation industry aicc allows learners to take courses on different platforms while still keeping track of their progress aicc was one of the first standards used for e learning aicc courses communicate with lms using http and text based methods scom has largely replaced aicc due to its richer feature set and better support for modern e learning needs some older lms platforms still support aicc so it's useful for backward compatibility now what is scom scom stands for shareable content object reference model a set of standards for e learning it ensures compatibility between online courses and different learning management systems scom provides rules on how e learning content is packaged launched and tracked in lms it allows tracking of learner progress scores and course completion across platforms In short, Scom ensures your e-learning content can be shared and tracked in any LMS. Scom promotes interoperability, meaning content created using Scom can be used across various LMS platforms without needing significant changes. Scom encourages the use of reusable learning objects, allowing educators to create modular content that can be reused in different courses, enhancing efficiency in course design. Thank you. Please subscribe for part 2.